uh, hi everyone myself avishek here today i'm going to solve you ternary operator post class assignment of newton school so here mention four question here so i solve all question so first question i go to first question and uh, first is on it so there their question name is loop dubbing 14 uh, difficulty level of this problem is easy okay and problem statement given an integer n okay you task to print the given integer from 1 to n okay here the input input given ki since this this problem functional problem uh, since this will be a functional problem means it is functional problem uh, you don't take have uh, you don't have to take input means you have input nahi lena hai aur you just to have to complete the function for loop that take your integer as a parameter okay And here the constant one to hundred, but there is each uh, given functional problem already code, which may or may not be correct. Means here, uh, here already some code is given, which uh, is uh, incorrect. Okay. Uh, now we need to figure out the correct is the requirement. Okay, we are required. Yeah, okay. Print all the even number one to n. Print the all numbers in the same space line separated by spaces. Okay. Uh, given five. So when I uh, use five, so like uh, input five element, input five, so like one, two, three, four, five. So it's even number here two and here even number four. So only when I input four, five, so only even number two and four, or it is one, three, and five is odd number, so I remove number. Okay. So here the I remove this line and here I use one, okay, one to n, okay, and here I use if, I remember to equal equal zero, then I print i element some dot out uh, dot print, okay, and I print plus और हेयर द क्वेश्चन मेंशन कि प्रिंट स्पेसेस सेपरेट तो हेयर आई प्रिंट आल्सो स्पेस ओके हेयर द आई ट्राई टू रन फर्स्ट इनपुट द एक्सपेक्टेड आउटपुट 24 आई आई एक्सपेक्टेड आउटपुट इज करेक्ट ट्राई टू सबमिट इट Yeah. So now it's submitted. Okay. Move to next question. Oh uh, yeah, it's uh, code. Ah, uh, basically it it is code uh, in YouTube description box. Ah, uh, my GitHub link where you can find here uh, this code. Okay. Move to next question. Ah, uh, second question is pattern printing. So yeah. This uh, question name is pattern printing. Uh, the difficulty level of this problem is easy. Okay. So first read the problem. Ki given a positive integer n. Okay. It has to print the right uh, right angle right angle triangle pattern of the cons uh, consecutive number of height n. Okay. Uh, for n is equal to five, the following pattern is printed. Okay. If uh, input is five, then print one, one two, one two three. One two three four and one two three four five. Okay, uh, you can uh, you uh, can see here. Okay, one then I one print then I, next line then I print next line then I print next line then I print next next line. Okay, so here the since uh, we functional problem, uh, you don't take input here. So here I may input me lena. You just to complete the function pattern that takes an integer and as parameter. Okay, constant of this question one to hundred. Uh, print a right angle a uh, triangle numbers of height n okay like uh, when i input 5 then uh, pattern look like this or when i input 2 so pattern look like this okay so it's simple problem so i going to code here write code this problem simple i traverse loop 0 1 2 n time like for n time is equal to 1 and less than colon Column like 
a minute. Okay, again I use low use for loop. J is equal to one. Then is then equal to an element. Increment is a okay. Or either use k if a less than equal i element. Okay. So I print j. Uh, when I printing J, so here are the separate spaces also printed. So here I print the space. Okay. And uh, when I go to else part, so else part not anything print. So here I print space. Okay. So system dot out uh, dot print. Okay. When I printed space, so here the uh, Change line so when I use second loop, so here I print the spaces of like uh, go to next line to so print a line. Okay. Mm, yeah, good. Uh, try to run this program of so first input. Uh, yeah, output is correct. Uh, try to submit it. Uh, yeah, now it's submitted and all uh, test cases are passed. Uh, move to next question. Next question is pattern. Okay. The difficulty level of this problem is easy. Okay, uh, given an uh, integer n, okay, uh, you just, uh, you have to print given below pattern n is greater than equal 3, pattern n, n value is 4, so pattern like first I print a star, then I print a star, then uh, cap, then star, star, cap, then star, then star, star, okay. So, Go to input here. Uh, the mention key since we have functional follow, you don't take have input. Okay, you just to complete the function pattern. Okay, and that takes the integer and argument. Okay, uh, constraint of this question 1 to 100 and uh, print the given pattern size. And okay, when I input 3, so pattern like look like this. Uh, when I input 6, so when I uh, pattern look like this. So in this question, first I print the uh, first I print a space, then I print a star, uh, then first I print a star, then I print a star, then I print it cap, okay, then I print a star, look like this, or uh, when I uh, printing uh, in middle, middle element, middle uh, pattern, then I last uh, I use another loop to print, uh, print a star, okay, so I'm going to code here. So first thing print the star new system dot out dot print print ln okay and here you I print star then I use for loop one center less than equal n minus two then I increment the i, okay. And here the when I uh, traverse to loop one to n minus two, so first I print this star, okay. So your system dot out dot print star, okay. When I printing star, so I traverse uh, loop. Uh, another loop to printing the like this cap uh, okay. I use for loop or in j is equal to one semicolon j less than call i element semicolon i j uh, element okay. 
okay and then i print system dot how dot print or here i print uh, this element okay this pattern look like this uh, when i printing this so here last in print star element so here i last print star okay uh when i complete uh, here to here all pattern so last thing uh, i only print a star element star 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 like this so i will only use for loop another for loop to printing star so int equal to one semicolon and i leave then equal n plus one increment the i element here and print star okay so try to run first input first input is three yeah pattern is look like this is correct okay try to submit it uh, yeah now it's hidden test cases pass okay and here the code okay uh, move to next question uh, next question name is rectangle okay the difficulty level of this problem is medium and the problem given it is first medium question in July batch. Okay, so given an integer value m and n using the character star and draw the rectangle height m and given breadth n. Okay, input constant only two integer m and n. Okay, uh, basically uh, m value three is, is uh, greater than and twenty less than. Okay, uh, thin, uh, three equal and less than m and okay. okay. So print rectangle of in example. When I input three, then I print uh, this. Basically, first I print a star, and I am using here the star. First and last element star, or in middle, only uh, print in separate star. Okay, space space star. Same things here. Uh, first and uh, last element print star in in middle, separate star. Means uh, star then space then star star space star star space star. Okay. So here the input constant uh, I am and okay. So I use a scanner class here for input. Okay. So I say double n in a scanner s c i n u scanner system dot in int and sign s c dot next int. I enter int m assign c dot next int okay and I traverse for loop for I enter int i is equal to one semicolon i less than equal n semicolon increment the i okay. for J is equal to one semicolon J less than equal M semicolon J increment J element here. Okay. Uh, in the given, okay, if uh, n value one, okay, n value yeah, uh, I if no 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 uh, if I value one, okay, and I value n, then I print a star. Okay. So I use if I equal equal one or I equal equal n. Okay. and then i print the start so system dot out dot print ln and I'm printing a star 
star here okay and go to else if part so in else if part uh, i'm going to j element here now so if j value uh, is one okay and j uh, j equal one and j equal equal m so it's print star okay so here j equal equal one or j equal equal m then i again print star Okay. and is is uh, uh, when I printing start in middle print and space here not is print space okay and uh, when I printing uh, first line then I line change here okay so here uh, I use when I or look about it and change it to the so here is to not all the print element yeah so try to run first input oh here the some mistake so i go through code what is mistake Oh, so first here the print ln. Okay, so I have to remove the ln. Yeah, now expect, expected output is correct. Try to submit it. Uh, yeah, now it's submitted. Uh, basically, uh, यदि आपको कोई क्वेश्चन सॉल्व करने में प्रॉब्लम हो रही है तो आप लोग यूट्यूब के कमेंट बॉक्स में पूछ सकते हैं या फिर उस क्वेश्चन का प्लेग्राउंड लिंक डाल सकते हैं जिससे मैं वो क्वेश्चन सॉल्व करके आपको बता सकूं एंड ये जो कोड है ये कोड मेरे गिटहब पे मिल जाएगा तो मेरे गिटहब का लिंक वीडियो के डिस्क्रिप्शन में आपको मिल जाएगा वहां से यू कैन यू कैन फॉलो माय गिटहब एंड आल्सो सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल that's it. Okay, goodbye.